What is up, guys? My name is Puppy Hero Power, and today is the first episode of MLP Talkies! And basically, this is my first time actually doing reviews on MLP episodes, and I'm a Pegasus sister myself, so Season 6 is the first one, plus 6 is my favorite number. So, first episode of Season 6 is pretty much um, Episode 1 and 2. It's a part 2 where, once again, for every opening season, and it's the crystalling. It's pretty much about um, the new character. But before I do the review, I just want to exclaim that there's going to be some spoilers, so if you haven't seen the um, episode or missed it, My Little Brony has it on his channel, and Pinkie Pie also has it on her channel. Yes, that's the name of the channel. So stay tuned for what's going to come. So here we have the intro, and as you can easily tell, we have Starlight Glimmer in the intro, and here we have the CMC with their cutie marks. So ever since Season 5 ended, it looks like we have a new intro for Season 6. Now on to the episode. So the episode starts off with Starlight Glimmer wandering through the castle, but then she has trouble finding the castle and she ends up finding Spike Brush in his teeth. As a counter to that, we see Starlight Glimmer with a new hairstyle, similar to kind of like Trixie's and Sunset... Sunset... Pfft, sunsets! Mixed together. I'm sorry. I saw some spit. I am so sorry about that. <laughs> but anyway, here we have Twilight reviewing, like, the lessons and everything. But when did she become her student? Because we just see pretty much a sunset, not sunset, starlight glimmer with pretty much a new hairstyle when Twilight's student that. Well, when did she become that? Because we don't even know. But here we have Twilight reviewing everything. But when we find out we're going to the Empire for the first episode, we hear that Sunburst is actually pretty much in the Empire too. But when Starlight pretty much hears about the news, she panics, because he doesn't want to know what she done. She turned evil to good, just like, um, with Sunset, so... So here's Twilight more actually concerned about her learning. And that's really, actually, affects Starlight, because, as you can see, we see Starlight pretty much not happy about the trip. But here's Twilight still really wanting to pretty much go. But she's more concerned about Starlight's friendship than her actual feelings, as you can see from here. So then after that, Starlight and Spike chat and chat and chat, but then we get a backstory about pretty much their relationship with Starlight and Sunburst. Then, well after the little flashback, Twilight gets the invitation that, well, Flurry Heart is born. So then, um... So then Twilight starts speaking British, like, Shine Arbor is the father, and she's an she talks all British. Twilight, we know you're going to the Empire. You're not meeting Queen Elizabeth. You don't need to go British. So then after the little conversation, they're on the train, and here we have Starlight basically still worried. Then we have Applejack, Rainbow, and Rarity revealing little gifts that they're going to give their little child, but when they get to the Empire, Shiny Norm is actually freaking sleepy. I mean, he's all messed up and everything from the birth. Do guys seriously look like that when they, um, after they have their kid? Because she's just been born, so why would she be hassle already? But then, after a long talk with Shining Armor, he starts falling asleep, and that's pretty much what happens. But then we go to the, well, Empire, but then Starlight basically is assigned with Spike to review her lessons with, well, Sunburst. So after we see Little Flurry Heart, the wings pop up. And the first trailer, I thought they were worried about the wings, but then they're worried about she's born in Alicorn. Not even Celestia and Luna did not even figure that out, that that's actually possible. But I wonder, were Luna and Celestia actually born Alicorns? Because if they were, they probably know that's actually possible. But since they actually didn't know it's possible, then, um... Wouldn't that make Flurry Heart the first Alicorn to be born an Alicorn? Back to subject. So here's Flurry Heart, all nice and happy. Then she sneezes. Yeah, she sneezes and then a hole in the roof comes and the pony pops up. I thought, when they first saw that little picture in the trailer, I thought she destroyed the heart. I'll get to that in, um, 
a bit. But here's little Flurry Heart, all nice and cute. Even though she's an alicorn, she's still a cute little baby filly. Technically, she can actually fly. Just like Pumpkin Cake and Pound Cake, she actually shoots magic early and actually flies early. But it's just too cute. So then Shiny and Armor panic, so she, well, both Cadence and Shiny and have to get everything ready. And we know that Ball, her magic color, is actually yellow from the little episode. But here's little Flurry Heart, so pink and all the n nice stuff. I do review on her later, so don't worry. But she looks so adorbs. So after that, and now the preparations are getting ready, um, what's gonna happen to Flurry? Oh yeah, she just flies around and shoots magic, that's pretty much it. So then, after a long days of preparations, Flurry's being handed off to Cadence, while well, Cadence gets away from Pinky. Flurry gets upset, and she screams in misery and sadness. It's like a screech. And then something happens. She broke the heart. I am not joking. She broke the heart. Winter's coming. All because of Flurry. Uh, why didn't they baby-proof the flippin' crystal heart? Because now, here we have flippin' winter everywhere. The princesses are trying to stop it, but then they try to do a spell... And then Flurry Heart shoots magic and it all gets destroyed! The spell gets destroyed by everyone shielding themselves, and then all of a sudden, pfft, flipping, spell breaks, and now more chaos happens. Back to our little episode. But Twilight does find a spell to basically fix it, but will it work? Well, no one's sure if the spell will actually work. But after Flurry's little chaotic thing, everyone's trying to get everyone, well, Rainbow Dash, Applejack, and Fluttershy try getting everyone of the Empire, but they're too selfish. But I wonder why didn't they know about the heart in the first place, breaking and everything? Because, well, Cadence tell them to not mention the heart because it might cause a panic. Wouldn't the Crystal Empire actually know about the heart if it breaks, winter happens? Because what if they? Because who doesn't tell them the dangers of pretty much the crystal heart? But on to Starlight and pretty much Sunburst. So then here we have Sunburst and Starlight talking. Now, as you can clearly see, Sunburst is pretty much too ashamed of himself that he's not actually not a real wizard, but he tries impressing Starlight. But in the end, Starlight actually just gets pissed off and. Um, Ah, uh, Starlight, you nincompoop, you told him everything, but flippin' Sunburst is not shocked about most of it. He's only shocked that he flip that she flippin' time traveled. Oh my goodness! But in the flippin' end, it's all good. Everyone is saved. Basically, Moonburst, not Moonburst. Oh my God! Why did I say Moonburst? Sunburst became a crystaller, and so they he helps. Cadence and Shining Armor, and everyone gets crystallized, and we also see Starlight actually get crystallized, and her hair actually is neat. Well, Celestia and Luna's are just plain normal by crystal in their hair. So then after that, everyone's at the train, and we see Twilight's and Shining Armor's parents, and they talk for the first time! They finally speak! So, it's super exciting. Here they are, meeting the parents... And the baby. And then Twilight Velvet asked them, well, there's Nightlight too, but they ask, what's the baby's name? And they named her Flurry Heart after the event. Which I have to say. Oh my god, I can't speak today. Which I have to say is actually pretty clever, Flurry Heart. But where does the flurry come from? From the frost, I guess? Well, then here we have Starlight and Sunburst actually saying goodbye. But then in the end, Starlight basically sees her friend again. Twilight understands that friendship lessons are sometimes not the answer to everything and needs to have Starlight make her own choices. So, in conclusion, I give this episode... I give it 9 furballs out of 10. Because there was just too many chaos, but another understanding stuff that I don't know. But if you like this little thing, then... Well, See you guys in the next little reviewing.